Good morning vlog. Hello, we are live here in the computer room. I just got here. I don't know if Teddy's recorded anything yet, but this could be the beginning of today's vlog featuring me as your intro artist. Dirty motherfucking urn. There he is. Yeah, and it's like just for realistic purposes. It's like what, you're gonna remove your shoe room because we don't have enough shoes or you need to have two shoe rooms. Now you need to have a four bedroom yeah, to like have fucking shoes. Taking over my fucking life. You know, it's not like you care about it at all, really. It's not like if Omar was sick tomorrow, you wouldn't even think about shoes. You know what I mean? Like, so, well, what people forget is the luxury, man. Yeah. It's all the luxury. Like, I, it's my whole personality of just being super fucking addicted to everything. Yeah. You know, like, and you just went hard. I go deep into everything, and then now it's like, okay. And it worked, though, because as you went deep into it, you were making the money to get the shoes to... So it's all, like it paid for itself. Like not only you get deep into it, but you make it that it works. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. Like, I don't know, man. There's like moments in time, you know? It's like, you have to be, it's like a relationship. And there's moments in time where it are special. And it's the same thing with Nike SB. Yeah. It's like there's a special time. And then yeah. now it just seems like that time is, I don't wanna say it's, I don't think, it's not the whole boost is dead conversation. It's just that the sneaker culture in itself is, I tricked myself, or I enchanted myself because there's something different going on. Yeah. And it excited me, and I still really like it. But now that it's like leveled out, it's not really like that now. You know yeah. I mean? It's just like, it's become work. Yeah. It's like work to fucking try to get here. And it's not just work for me, it's work for you guys. Like, you're stressed about trying to fucking get here to film a shoot. Yeah. You know, like, and you can't go fucking do your, like, I can't work on a big ass dragon painting because I gotta fucking yeah. sit here and talk about the shoe for an hour and edit it together. And you can't go work on your website shit because you have to rush over here to help me because it's easier to help. Like, yeah, I can get it done yeah. a little bit faster. It's yeah. just, you have to realize when you're chasing after something that we've already attained. I can get any goddamn shoe that I want right yeah. now. So I've yeah. attained this, you know? It's yeah. like, there's and, you other know, things in my life. And you know, when some come out and some cool shit, we'll get them first and fucking talk about yeah, them. I mean, who the fuck I'm not like, 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 I'm not shunning shoes. Yeah, I know saying, that. I'm just this whole revolvement around it yeah it's done well dude it's what you said about those kids sending you the messages after the bird day thing i mean that's yeah i can't i can't contribute to this man like i cannot with a clear conscience yeah yeah make a materialistic thing look that important because yeah. it does even though it's not important to you they become you know, really important to other people yeah well and you know they see yeah, it and they, they assume like, to you it's important it. yeah, it's yeah. Not the most important thing and yeah. now it's and the, i'm watching it happen where I, again like we don't have time to do the shit that we actually want to do like i love shoes but they're not my whole life man like yeah. it's not anybody's whole life and people want to be dishonest about it and it just keep up with charade i don't really fucking like, i don't have an identity in that you know like i don't look at myself like I'm the guy that has all the shoes. Like, I don't, it's whatever, bro. Like, I look at myself as the fucking guy who's an artist that needs to make more art. And that's why I'm probably never fulfilled. You know, it's like, yeah, this whole like material obsession shit is just too much. These fucking kids are too fucked up over it. Garbage cans arrived. This is this is for us, right? Did we get a recycle one too? Oh no, we just filmed our whole life. We I had one so. guy. I was doing a repossession. And oh he Jesus! Like oh my God, no! I'm like, what's wrong with you? And he's like, you do repossessions? Is that that's gotta be yeah. tough, right? Yeah. I used to watch the TV show where they would do that shit. Hey, what are we possessing? Trash cans, though. Oh, that's <laughs> it. Oh, I thought you meant repossessing. We're just talking about repossessing trash, trash cans. Can. People cry, want to fight me. Oh my God. Had, uh, man. Update. It looks like there's another shoe sale coming because yeah. there's not enough for him. Oh. The people last night were saying I should move the shoe room downstairs, but the walls downstairs are all concrete. Yeah. So that's not even a viable option. I think I just need to sell half of my fucking shoes. Un-DS any doubles and sell the old ones so that I have three yeah. pairs. Weed rolling shit right here. The UK cheese. All right. Okay, 
so this part of the vlog is the first podcast. This will not be a part of the vlog regularly. This is just, we don't have it set up. I felt like we needed to sit down and just talk about unedited what was going on, what we were feeling, and then it just kind of turned into a pretty natural podcast, which is what me and Ern think it will happen anyway. We just like to talk to each other and bullshit. So uh, this is where it starts. This is the first episode uh, hidden within the vlog, which now makes it the vlog cast. Shout out Warplex. Are debating what we're gonna do. I don't know how often we're gonna do it. I'm kind of wanting to do one, you know, like every other day, every day, every week. I don't know, we'll figure it out. I don't know where it's gonna be. We might just do it on Twitch. We might do live streaming on YouTube, but I also want to have to, I want to be able to have it send out to all the services like Apple Music and Spotify, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, yeah, we're working on it. This is the first one. If you're not interested in the podcast, sorry, um, but you can fast forward to about like the 40 minute mark and then the vlog restarts. So just so you know, and we did not go get a grill today, which was in the, you'll, you'll see. That's the 16th. You have a... Uh... That's an eighth. The two of those are an eighth. You have another eighth of the UK. It's all together you have a half ounce. You have a quarter and an eighth of UK cheese, and then you just have an eighth of the regular cheese. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. But you owe me 60, though. Shit. Where my account is set up. <laughs> Take months. It could take months. So we're starting a podcast. <laughs> Not this second. But no, it just started. This is it. Uh, today. Well, we are going to start a podcast, but we don't have it set up yet to just podcast. But there's an explanation that has to happen now because of yesterday's vlog where I talk about not reviewing shoes anymore. Uh, I've been talking about the state of the sneaker world for a long time now. And then me and Ern had a discussion yesterday that didn't start off the best. It started off as a fight. <laughs> but, um, you know, inside that fight, there's a lot of information that um, basically that both of us feel a certain way about certain things and we don't acknowledge it and we keep doing what we're what we've been doing because it's working and we're not happy you know what i'm saying like we're not Ern's not able to get the shit done that he wants to get done i'm not able to get the shit done that i want to get done and we've like fully i have fully chased after or just immersed myself in this whole shoe world which was great it provided all kinds of opportunities it took me all over the place. I met all kinds of cool people. Uh, I got to meet fans, whatever. But at some point, like chasing all that, um, we've like, we're losing ourselves. I mean, we've, that's just like what it is. Like the whole vlog is 100% us. Like it's our real conversations. It's our real bickering. It's our real whatever. And the only part of the vlog that isn't organic is sitting down and having to fucking review shoes or having earn drive over to my fucking house to come help me shoot a shoe or even back in the day when i was tattooing every day like having to finish my tattoo appointment by three o'clock so that i could get home shoot a pair of shoes fucking just to get the vlog up and done and be first to get the shoes up like that was the goal at the beginning and goals change you know like yeah we've just you know earn is you're not really talking during this podcast, but... You're doing so Ern, good. Ern, I'm just Ern like, is, I'm riding with you. Ern is like, doing... Uh, is Ern's, you know, Ern came out here. He was doing website work in New York. He had his own, you know, his own business. Uh, he started working with me, got labeled an assistant title, whatever, whatever. But he has so much more shit going on, too. You know, it's so... It's just hard to get everything done, I think. And I think also, and a lot of it is, you know, with um, that tweet that happened the other day with the whole Anthony Bernane thing, I think that also spoke to you a lot about um, yeah. the shoes and stuff that, uh, you know, a lot of responses you got were about kids feeling a certain way or feeling depressed. Basically over, you said, you know, the majority of people hitting you up, it seemed like their problems were over these material things and it kind of made you also re-look at yeah, I don't really want to be a contributing factor to 
Um, and I think that I'm mild compared to some people, for yeah. sure. But I still don't want to... I don't... I'm not a materialistic person. Yeah. Like, you know me. Yeah. So you know that, well, it's, like... It's, it's hard. So to... it's very... And it's hard. It's like people in the comments right now are like, yeah. what the fuck? Yeah. But I'm not. Like, I'm not that person. And yeah, I do appreciate the shoes and I do appreciate all these things, but it's not... In no way... Like, the brand is what I care about. The shirts and the... Being able to make clothing and, you know, be, be yeah. successful in a brand. Like, have my voice heard in this environment is what i want like to be an a life to be a supreme to be like yeah. better than that that's the goal like so and to provide cool fucking art for the world like that's yeah. really the, the real goal is just to, to be able to create freely and provide shit that people resonate with and, and you enjoy been, sharing shoes but it doesn't it resonated like, yeah for a while it fucking resonated yeah. and now there's the resonation is uh there's a fucking big line there's a big gap in it you know it's like yeah, like people are fucked up over it, and people are... I di yeah, I just feel like I'm contributing way too much to that. And I feel like I can contribute much more in the sense of when I do go on a... I'm not trying to say I'm a philosophizer, especially since that's not a word. Uh, but, you know, like, I just feel as if there's a better connection through talking to people like people about yeah. human shit instead... And art and creating art and making tattoos and traveling and doing all the shit that we like to do yeah and doing it in cool shoes but not necessarily having it scope around no. shoes and i've done everything i can i mean i got fucking sued by adidas yeah you know what i'm saying yeah. so it's like I've well that's kind of the to irony it. too yeah. is that you've helped the company so much that not that you dislike their shoes now i mean you still have but like it's like you've well they're also not going, going the, they're not going in the direction that i want them to anyway so like when this all yeah. started Everybody's like, what are you going to do when Adidas does the same thing? And I said, we'll see when we get there. And now, we're, it seems like we're approaching yeah. is Adidas doing the same thing, which I'm not mad at. I'm not mad that Adidas is a... I recognize Adidas as a billion-dollar global fucking corporation. I, I know the fucking score, you know what I mean? But yeah, yeah. it's like we were talking about earlier. That moment in time where everything had like this new feeling, where everything felt special yeah. and cool... It's yeah. a moment in time, and yeah. that shit passes, and it's fine. But yeah, you know, even with this, there's a lot of. I keep getting mentioned about this POD pod, fucking thing in London, and why I'm not there. And it's like, I'm not there for fucking multiple reasons. But at the same time, I don't want to be there either. I don't want to continue. Yeah. Like I don't really fall behind people that well. You know what I mean? Like yeah. me and you both, we're independent people. We're yeah. like we do our independent shit. So for me to have to like get down on my knees and look up at Adidas like, please, sir. Like, that's not yeah, really me yeah. anyway. So I don't really, I've never asked for a free shoe. I've never asked anybody to hit me up with shit. It's no. mostly but other people fucking white knighting for me being like, you guys should send Teddy shit. And it's like, yeah, they probably should have. But at this point, yeah. I'm more focused on being an artist, building my fucking brand up and like living the life I want to live. Not getting recognition from a fucking company that really... You know, if I died tomorrow, I wouldn't even send out a tweet. So yeah, it's not the point. Yeah. Like Adidas is not. I and love that's the take shoes. away from some of the people that you met in the company that I, are super cool people. Yeah, and, I you know what I mean. Awesome but people. but and those people are rad. And they and they but they're just people doors, in a big and behind thing. closed doors. They'll tell you they think Adidas are a bunch of fuckheads too about some stuff. You know what yeah. I mean? Like yeah, it's still a corporation, and at the end of the day, they're gonna do what they do. I can appreciate those moments in time that I appreciated things, and that's just like what it is. But yeah. this culture of sneakers as a whole is kind of toxic, man. Like, yeah. And I like having it. I like dipping in and dipping out. But this whole like surrounding our lives with this has really, over the last I'd say six months, with trying yeah. to grow a brand and make sure everything works, that it's it's yeah. counterintuitive. Like, Aaron has no free time. I have even fucking less free time, yeah, you know, and it's just like, yeah, it's just, and we don't want to stop vlogging and we don't want to stop creating, but I'm just, I just feel like our audience and the people who are here to really watch us are here to see where we're going to go next. And I don't really feel as if you're, if you're reviewing shoes in season one and you're still doing the same shit in season three, like you're not growing. You're yeah, just, yeah. It's a formula yeah. at that point. And I'm not afraid to fail. And I'm not afraid for something to fucking yeah, go right, another dude. way. I'm not afraid for the views to go to 200. I don't fucking care. Like, I'm going to yeah. have to do what the fuck I want to do. Like, that is weird. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, because or else then you're like we were saying yesterday. It's like, you know, it's cool about this is not having a boss, but really the vlog becomes your boss. Oh, or the, the shoes, the shoes, become, the shoes your become your boss. You know, like, yeah, everything does. And then people are all worried about, you know. And it's the same thing. It's on like a bigger level of fitting in. It's like, oh, I need to, I need to make sure I do, you know. And some of it is appeasing other people. And I just don't want to do that. I want to, <coughs> I don't want to disappoint people, but I just want to share more than this, you know. Like I, we make a lot, a lot of stuff happens behind the scenes that we don't even talk about because we already have enough content. But that content isn't necessarily what we even want to be showing the world. Sometimes yeah. it's like we're doing someone else a favor. Yeah. And I've been doing Adidas favors for a long time. And it's yeah. Like, you know, it's cool. I'm not bitter, but I'm just like not gonna continue to do the same. Sure, over it. It's yeah. not, yeah. Not and it's not to say that you're not gonna buy shoes because next week, you know, when you yeah, get a I mean, pair there's a Ronnie, this or that, somebody's fucking, gonna be like, you said you're done. No, no, no. no. The like, Ronnie Fag fucking World Cup uh, A16 or whatever is coming. Like, I'm definitely copping that shit. Like, there's still everything that I appreciate about the brand, I still appreciate. It's just yeah. the shit that I don't appreciate now is really highlighted. And then the environment around us, like the resell fucking toxicity <coughs> and the sneaker culture toxicity. And our lives and just looking yeah. at our lives over the last few months and being like, yo, we've been so crazy and we're driving ourselves crazy trying to do so much shit. Yeah. Sager's crazy also. He's just not here. And that's why he's not here is because his fucking life is out of control too. Because he's trying to keep up with all this shit as yeah. well. So it's just like... It's too much, and it's not fulfilling, and it's just like what it is, and we both feel that way, even though at first we argued about it, but sometimes yeah. you have to argue with your friends to figure out how you feel, because yeah. he told me, like, you know, that he's tired and shit, and I'm like, fuck you, you know, like, what the fuck, and then I realize that I'm really <coughs> mad at him because I'm tired. And then I see someone else saying they're tired. I'm like, well, fuck you, man. Like, I didn't... Like, I'm gives, not complaining yeah. that I'm tired. Why are you yeah, telling it gives me, me permission to be like, oh, I should take it easy on myself. I should take it easier. And that's like... Yeah. It all expands, you know, like chasing this fucking fame or clout or whatever the fuck people are chasing. You're like, if you lose all your friends on the way there, it's not really worth it. And if you fucking argue with everybody on the way there, it's not, it's not really worth it. And you're probably headed the wrong direction. And I feel like we both feel like this has just started heading in a direction that we weren't in control of anymore. Like, yeah. you want to go on tour sometimes. Let's yeah. go eat. I want to take a week off and paint sometimes or fucking just be a fucking weirdo, you know? Like, or be a normal person, shut your phone off and go to an island for a fucking week yeah. and just chill and not have to worry about, yeah. you know? And in your boat, you know, you have Brandy and I and us all come out here to work for you and it's, you know, this constant pressure of, Basically, having to not support your friends. I mean, we're working for it, but there's got to be. An that's still why we have to have a drop every week. That's, that's what why I mean, we have yeah. to do the shit we have to do. Like, people expect great customer service and fast shipping. And in order to do that, I have to have employees in place every week that get yeah. paid every week. And it's like, that's <coughs> yeah, a ton of pressure, especially yeah. when, you know, and then lines get blurred where people are like, you know, it's like, oh, do I have to go review the shoe so that people will know about the. Like, yeah. I'm not trying to bait people. It's like, I want people to like me for me. You know, yeah. I want people to see a shirt and be like, or just like the art. You don't have to fucking yeah. like me. Like, see that shirt, like, that shirt's fire. Yeah, that's it. You know, I like, mean, that's, that's the it. whole thing. Is we, yeah. You want to build a brand that there's not a lot of cool shirts. There's not a lot of cool yeah. ideas out there on shirts and clothing. So if you build something. Yeah. It just kind of got away, I think. Like, yeah. the shoes are just too much of a. Focus and there's too many shoes here, you know, it's just like well that too that you I think it all came at once because you noticed in the move that yeah. the shoes are just like I mean you And really, I even got rid of 50 pairs before we went yeah. and it's just like slowly been building up and yeah, you know And then you know, I just feel like there's also just certain shit I need to hold on to it's never gonna come back out and just enjoy those and then yeah. get rid of all the other shit like some of that shit's never gonna come back out either, but but, but but you're not gonna wear it either. Yeah, but it's, it's also just, just this yeah. enchantment. It's the same. It's the Nike SB fucking. Um, it's like the residual of that. Where I'm like, because you'll hear me saying some of the old vlogs like this might never come out, so I'll put it on ice because I have that constant fear I'll yeah, never yeah. see it again. But that's not the world we live in anymore, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like everything comes back out, and it's just like what it is. And yeah. You know, I don't know that I'll even enjoy it if it continues to come back out, but. I don't necessarily need to hold on to all this shit either. Yeah, and you're the person that you dive into everything you do hardcore. You got into the shoes and you just went in. And it just, 
You know, and you're still going to go in. It's There's still be residual. No, I'm just not going to It's not like you're not going to have a wall yeah. of shoes or it's going to, you I know. I just don't want it to be the focus anymore. That's it. Like, I don't want to put shoes on the thumbnails. I don't want to fucking, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I just completely, like, separated from the idea of the curriculum to be a sneaker YouTuber or yeah, even I think a that's YouTuber. What it is. They'll like, take away from you being a sneaker head yeah. or being into the shoes that you're into. Yeah, and there's like some aspect of it is sneaker con and shit. You know, it's like I like everybody at sneaker con, but I did that and that experience was overwhelming. You know what I mean? It's like a lot. And then this year you see some of the shit that's happened at some of the sneaker cons and that's their business. You know what I mean? They're taking their business the direction they want to take it, but it's not it doesn't represent me, you know what I mean? It doesn't. I, I, it doesn't give me a voice, yeah. you know, to fucking just show up with some t-shirts and be like, "Hey, everybody!" Like, it's just not yeah. the context that I would present myself in. And I did it because it was cool and it was fun and it was new. But and when you were originally doing it, it was the context. I mean, selling yeah. a Boost God shirt with yeah. Kanye and that was the context. But then as your art changed and your yeah. brand changed, it and they still sold good at sneaker cons. But it's like, yeah. If you're just selling it to sell it, you know what I mean? Right. I just don't want to come off on authentic. You know what I mean? I don't want to start showing up at events and just being like, oh, but this is an opportunity for me to sell some shirts. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not. Like, then you feel like you're at a fucking flea market. Yeah. You know? I just feel it's like not... a fucking weirdo. Always like makes me feel weird. So, um, yeah. But, so, nothing's really going to change as far as anything else. We're still, I might end up tattooing more and painting more and getting to do more things, you know what I'm saying? Enjoy my time doing yeah. different shit other than worrying about But you always come shoes. with us when we're doing that shit. Yeah, so. just not rushing to get shoes. Like, I might get a shoe on Wednesday and Instagram it, but you might not see your review for a week, you know, yeah. or ever. If it's a fucking regular-ass shoe, and I feel like everybody's already reviewed it well enough, then great. But sometimes I review just shoes... Just link you over to Seth. Yeah, or whoever. <laughs> I, it's like, who? I'll link you to whoever, yeah. but... The kicker of that shit is, too, is even when I review shoes, I'm still answering questions about those shoes on Twitter the next day. Yeah. The same questions I already covered. So it doesn't, it's not like everybody even has time to watch all that shit. So yeah. I'm just, you know. Yeah. If someone doesn't cover something that I think is important, I'll talk about it, I guess. Yeah. And, you know, not like, I'm not completely over shoes. I'm just over the whole. I'm well, over. I will still do a shoe review here and there for those of you. I know yeah. that's what you're wondering right now. You're yeah. sitting there thinking, "Is Earn going to do another shoe review?" They're about there hovering over yeah. the subscribe button. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I will. Yeah. Well, yeah, as yeah. soon as these solar boosts arrive, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Hopefully, so. just like returning to making more art, uh, focusing on showing people like how I operate because some days I don't you know we don't ever find shit to do for the vlog but there are days where like I would rather be fucking just painting like when I worked at the tattoo shop before the vlog I'd sit there and draw for six seven hours a day I don't do that now you know yeah. what I mean I draw as a because I have to I'm like all right boom you gotta go draw and that's why I got turned off from tattooing was because I had so many people up my ass like you have to draw this today you have to draw that today and I didn't feel like I had control over my time and that's not at all me, and that's not at all sustainable for anybody. anybody. That's trying yeah. to so we're have just their own time. You know, so yeah. it's just got to change. It's like I think we've clarified. Like we don't. I'm not turning my back on shoes. I still love Boost. I still love yeah everything that it brought me. But you got to fucking grow, man. Like I can't just be a fucking 65 year old dude reviewing shoes. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, that channel will be awesome. I can, it probably will be actually pretty fire. Because by that time, the fucking shoes will have, like, you'll be, full, you'll be able to portal to somewhere. You'll just have to get a certain yeah. shoe for a certain event. Like, or no, you just probably print them at your house. You mm -hmm. just buy the design online and yeah, the printer's like... Grrr. Yeah, but you'll... That's like 30 years from now. 30 years? We'll be way past that. Just portals. Yeah, you print it out. Well, you print it out, but it's a digital hologram. And then you stick your feet out, and then the hologram goes on your feet. And then that takes you to the place you need to go. It's like a dress code. So you have the shoe, like say you need to go to the club. They don't let you have athletic wear at the club. That's why you don't see me there. So <laughs> fucking, you put your feet out in the hologram, fucking hologram trademark. Uh, they get you there. Yeah, the shoe, the, sh the shologram, because it's shoe, S-H-O, shologram. So you get into the fucking shoologram, 
And then it sends you there. So you're like, I'm going to the Club 61. Boom, put some fucking Clarks on your shit, and you're automatically dancing. Nice. In the club. Nice, I like That's it. the future of footwear. Then you leave the club and you want to go for a run. Yeah, you just down, you get your app up, you're like, Broop, and then it fucking prints off your solar boost onto you, and now all of a sudden you're running on a trail. That would be great. That's, I guess, where we're going. Have you heard of these Peloton bicycles? No. Brandy, no. They're not bicycles, they're uh, exercise bikes. Brandy told me about them. That they're <coughs> right there, there, Sneaker Summit. Oh. They sell to you, they're like 100 a month. But you get them with the internet, and basically it's a TV on it with classes. So you have an exercise bike, but there's live classes. So it's like in your house? In your house. Crazy. It's kind of like, it's the new, she sounds, said all her like, like girl ad. vloggers that she's watching. Well, yeah, we don't know. Yeah. No, don't even put it in the thing. I'm just saying, all the girl vloggers she's watching have them now, and she's like, have you heard of this bike? She's right. Like, They're really expensive. Oh my God, we don't need a hundred a month bike. That you're gonna uh, ride for <laughs> uh, three weeks and be like, all right, that was fun. Then you're locked into some contract. Uh, I ate at Jerusalem last night. I saw that. Weird. The food was amazing. Uh -huh. The server was the worst. He was like some stoner 18 year old that just did everything was wrong. He doesn't bring silver where I go, can I have silver? Oh, yeah, no problem. And then he forgets our waters. Then he brings the water. Meanwhile, two hot girls walk in and sit behind us, immediately comes over with two waters, a big pitcher <laughs> in the middle. I said to Brandy, I'm like, this motherfucker. I'm like, and then he brings out my meal wrong and then Damn. switches it off. And then the people behind us and the side of us had shit wrong too. You could hear them complaining. It's like, this kid is, he's done. So when does this start? You still got a little while. Are you well, they just pushed back. So I was going to pay them on the, um, I was gonna pay when the restock happened or whatever. Yeah, yeah. The Easy Mafia said that it got pushed back. There's like huge production issues or something, so they pushed it back. So I may just do it on another. I might just buy a pair, like a random pair, or have StockX get me a pair and send me like a not my size. Maybe start with a smaller one because I feel like if I start with like a size six or a size eight, it'll be a lot easier to manage. Size thirteen is a fucking huge shoe. Yeah, it's a big shoe. Yeah, so. Um, nice. Yeah, I might do that just to practice because painting on shoes is not easy. No. It's low. I know that you have to use this shit yeah. properly. So. Yeah, it looks like it. I that's why I don't like it. Like and that. then you prepare it? I don't know. I mean, I'm not going to pretend to. Oh, I'm not going to pretend like know I fucking really know what the fuck I'm doing there yet. All I know how to do is paint, so I can't really tell you all the other shit. <laughs> but have they told you? I mean, is there a He's asked me, he said, like, ask me if you have any questions. And right. it's gonna be like, yeah, I got all the questions, dog. <laughs> all of them. But, yeah. Still. So. Hopefully Lexi comes back. Oh yeah, so yesterday the dog next door, I did Was it in the vlog last night? The dog? Know. At first, I was going to put it in because me and you had a conversation about him saying he's going to kill his dog. But anyway. The, the neighbor's dog, dog bit somebody. Yeah, the neighbor's dog bit someone at the fucking dog, dog park. park. And he called the cops. The guy, Rightfully so. The guy calls the cops. They, like, file a report or whatever against the dog. And he said so the dog's on paper. But how I found this out is the next word. The dog's on papers. That's what he said. But the, the, how I found this out is I came outside yesterday before yesterday and the guy's yelling he's like Lexi Lexi and I'm like what the fuck is going on and then he's like you're in big trouble and I was like worried that the dog had jumped over the fence and Omar killed it I don't know yeah and uh he's like just I'm like what's up man he's like she just bit somebody and told me the story or whatever and I'm like yeah you know that dog needs a lot of exercise that's a hurting dog and blah 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 and he's like yeah I have this 75 year old lady walk it two blocks every day, but that doesn't matter. Anyway, um, he said, long story short, he was like, if <laughs> if it happens again, <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, that's crazy. And then yesterday, I didn't see Lexi. Yeah, we haven't seen and Lexi. He also donated two toys to Omar yesterday that had Lexi's name written on a magic marker. So I'm not, <laughs> I don't want to laugh. 
because it's so fucking terrible. Yeah, but we, it's possible that Lexi might be gone <laughs> to hopefully a better place, like yeah. a better owner, <laughs> maybe. Not like heaven, not, but not heaven. But. Omar, I don't do you see know. Lexi? Oh, hopefully, I feel like she's gonna pop out tomorrow. That's why I'm laughing. I mean, because I think we like there hasn't been a day here though that she hasn't been outside. We're going on 24 hours. Yeah, we got a first 48, dog. <laughs> this is it. Now or never. We got to go over there. You should go over there with like a charm or a cake. Like, hey, we made a cake for Alexi. <laughs> Can I see her? Like, go check on her. Like, fucking social services. <laughs> we should start dog social services. Do they have that? No. PETA. Kind yeah, of, I don't think they do they're that. Not. Yeah. They don't go door to door. That'd be amazing. Yeah. Hey, can Lexi come out and play Omar's board? <sighs> no. Lexi fell down the stairs. Yeah. Yeah, who knows? Or, well, the other side is that the police came and killed her. Yeah, I mean, I guess the dude could have called and had him taken, yeah. Which is even more sad. Like, well, he had rabies. He got his rabies test back. But yeah, I don't know about that, but... My cat had rabies once. When I was a young kid. <sighs> Her asshole was red. That's how I knew. I said to my mom, I was like four, I was like, why is the cat's butthole bright red? My mom was like, I don't know, that's weird. Turned out she had rabies. This guy, so here's a, this is a great thing. We'll just talk about this. We'll just keep this going on. There he's someone just, this is a perfect example of my fucking disdain for shoes and the culture. I got no shade towards Adidas, but this year with the stock market plummeting, Nike winning so far, Adidas won last year. And like, my response says, I don't sell shoes. I have a career. He tagged you, know? you in it? Yeah, it's a response to me and something that has nothing to do with shoes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. And my response is, I don't sell shoes, I have a career making art, because that's my life. But that's what I'm saying, like, people look at shit so differently from different angles. And it's fine if you're, like, coming from it from a perspective that shoes are a commodity to you that you need to fucking resell for a lot of money. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's how you gauge value. But yeah. that's not who the fuck, that's not the way my brain works. Yeah, like, I don't look at it like that, so... Well, you can't, it's like talk, I don't even know the analogy for it. It's just the fucking worst. It's like, you're comparing things that don't matter, you know? It's like that art, you know, someone could paint the most beautiful fucking painting in the goddamn world. Like, the best painting. Yeah. And all of, every single technical artist could be like, yeah, it's the illest shit. Like, we don't even know how he did it. It's fucking ill. Like, goddamn. And it never get fucking sold for... You know, if it doesn't get sold for fucking $54 million, then yeah. it must be shit. And it's like, that's not... Price is not determination of how fucking good something yeah. is. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, Yeah, it could just be rareness. It could be yeah. anything. It's, it's like, like looking at the fucking menu and just picking the most expensive... Like, who do you go to a restaurant and not even look at it and be like, just hand it back to them, like, give me the most expensive thing. What's yeah. the? What do you have the least of in the back? <laughs> yeah. I'll take that. Yeah. Is that that mentality is so fucking ridiculous. Yeah. And it's really fucking old really fucking fast. And it's like Yeah, it's funny when you think of it that way with food. Yeah. Or something. Cause what food, are you almost out of? Because food you order actually what you like. You know what I mean? You actually order yeah. what, what you makes like. you feel good. What makes you feel good. Weird. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? Like Yeah. So if a hype so if next month a hype shirt is to wear a fucking sports bra as a male. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. You know, if you like to wear sports bras as a male, knock yourself the fuck out. I don't I'm care. A, I'm gonna get it that high stuff. Yeah, but like whatever, something uncomfortable. Like, what if you gotta wear a belly chain that wraps around your asshole, yeah. comes around through your ear, and you get a nipple piercing? And that's just like that's the new wave, and it's the most uncomfortable. You sneeze, and your yeah. whole shit gets fucking wrapped. So if that's the new wave, and it's just the most uncomfortable shit. But they're hella rare. Like fucking yeah, Yeezy's only gonna make thirty. So yeah, they're rare. Is that is that okay? Yeah. No, it's not. So it's just like, you know, yeah. some shit is just uncomfortable, man. Like, Well, yeah. And I think, I think now the hype shit like that is going away as just the market in general is going down. Every market's going down. Yeah. What else we got? I don't think this is really, I don't know. I did, I didn't know if I addressed it on the vlog, but I did see, or I did listen to Kids See Ghost once. I only still only listened to it once. I thought it was good. 
it's just hard to, it, it transitions very like crazy. It goes from fucking kind of like, yeah. to fucking like super smooth. Yeah. But I was also super high by the time the fucking, it ended. So I, I don't even remember it. I was listening to it. Like I got into like train and I was on Twitch. My favorite's that fourth dimension song that, oh. Yeah. It's really good though. It's super yeah. Good. I just need to, I need to listen to it a bunch. And then Nas comes out Friday, right? Yeah. The 15th, yeah. Do Nas, um, Takashi Six Nine went to Chicago. I saw that. Dude. That's pretty crazy. That's amazing. Yeah. I love. I it's just, just such crazy marketing, man. The marketing behind it is just so crazy. But where are those dudes? Why did it? Why? Probably did, in on it. And yeah. they also like. Well, you didn't see on the internet, so Takashi Six Nine's rolling up and like taking all the videos and shit. And then people have photos of him being followed by like an undercover cop. Like they're saying he's got like a police escort or whatever. I don't really know how that works, but honestly, the police may just be following him anyway. Like if you're coming into town. And yeah, why wouldn't you follow him and just <laughs> yeah, a little race? Like, I mean, if I, I don't were know an undercover, yeah. like, I bet you I'll get something good if I just follow yeah, this yeah, guy. So I don't know if what I don't know how any of that works. Like, any undercover would be like, this guy's gonna get murdered at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just be here for well, it. Yeah, let's just be preventative. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't mean, know, and he's got security, but of course, like. The internet's so funny because everybody wants people to react in a way that everyone knows is unreasonable. Yeah. It's almost like in a video game when it's like, I'm just going to try and run through this as fast as I can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, no thought. It's like, I'm going to show up in the fucking set by myself yeah. with a whole stack of money and I'm yeah. going to fucking just yeah. see what happens. Like, yeah. It's like, no. Yeah. That doesn't work for anyone. You got to kind of use common sense, but the marketing is crazy because it's literally people who I've and never it's like seen. if he's rolling with a squad of 25 people what's one undercover following yeah, him yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah if you're really everybody's so gangster I guess that's you know, what I mean like uh, what if everybody's got fucking AKs like, alright I got the whole squad you know what they're, just call that one undercover yeah. have him come with us anyway just be you got safe. The, like the ill fucking the shooter who's like pullbacks on the AK yeah. and he's like I'll kill the whole shit and then he's like yeah. pulls up the gun and then he's like wait there's a cop he's like Fuck. Man. Yeah. It's not morals, dog. Yeah. You know, like, uh, <coughs> it's ridiculous. What else is ridiculous is the fucking double XL cover. Uh, the fresh. Dude, double XL is trash. Yeah. It's done. I feel like double XL has been done since Biggie Smalls passed away. Yeah. Like, it's just like, the fact that they left Takashi 6 9 off of it is, and I'm not even like, I don't like Takashi some last shit. four or five songs. Like, yeah. I'm not into the way the music's necessarily going, but, the marketing wise, yeah. it's crazy. And yeah, the fact that they even left him off of it almost makes him more relevant. Yeah. It's like, what are you doing? Dude, I like you the put song. Trippy Red on it. I like Tati it. more now. Like, I feel like when I heard it, you're expecting something so fire because yeah. it's been so good that you're just kind of like let down. But now when it just rolls through yeah, on my playlist, yeah. and I'm like, oh, this is a good song. Yeah, like, yeah. it's another hype fucking song. Yeah. But. It's crazy. The whole shit's crazy, but double XL just play themselves over and over. Yeah, why? They keep doing it. it because it's all political. It's the same as the f anything else. Anything it's else. the same as this the shit we're talking about earlier. Issues like, are complex. Really. Everything gets yeah. fucking political, and then there's no truth anymore. And then people sign on to shit for acceptance. And I don't. We're looking down truth. the barrel of that fucking gun. I'm not doing it. I'm like, yeah. Like compare it to the POD thing. If they were like, oh, let's fly you out here for this. I don't know that that would be, you know, the fact that we had to get into 747 and the, as frustrating as it was and as frustrating as all that shit was, but the fact that nobody really did give me anything is also, I, I think, is why I like it. Like, I like to earn shit and, yeah. like, be able to keep my fucking opinion and be able yeah, to... Yeah, like, you got, like, we got that whole thing with Ben... Just we got it. Yeah, just, just in because, talking, not yeah. even like pushing. Like we just said, "Hey, what's up?" And he was like, "Oh, I didn't know you guys were here. Yeah, let yeah. me finesse this." And yeah, he totally was just like, "You've done so much for us. Yeah. Let me help you." And that's one individual. But when you break it, and that's an awesome motherfucking individual at Adidas. But if yeah. you break it into the whole company, there's some fucking douchebags at the table, man. Yeah. Like, and that's just like what it yeah. is. Like, there's douchebags at every big table. The bigger the table gets, the more douchebags show up. Yeah. And that's why our table. It's not going to get bigger. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like yeah. our table is... Yeah. We just make sure that everything on our table is good. That's yeah. what we're trying to do. So, um, yeah. But it's 12.15. What are you doing today? I don't know. I don't know. Not that much. How nice. This is ill. That was Teddy impression. Oh, my God.
god, that's amazing. Dude, we could grill later at my house. We could just go buy a grill. I could buy a grill. Let's go buy a grill and then go get some steaks and then grill over here tonight. I'm not broke. I mean, yeah, I no, buy. that's fine. We right, can. Fine. Can we fit it in my car? Yeah. A grill usually comes in a box. If not, we got bungees. We can strap it to the top. All right, let's do it. Ill. We had a podcast in the middle of the vlog. <laughs> where's the, yeah, where's the, where's the, uh, yeah. You'd have thought this dog has lived outside its whole life, the way he acts now. Free pickup. Pick up. Well, they were, they're going to charge you to pick it up? Yeah, I know. That's they were toying with the idea of like, you think we could charge him for pickup? Nah, I tell him it's free. Come here. Oh, shit. I've seen you get in here, so I know that you can do it. Where's this? No way, shut up. You're gonna do it, huh? <laughs> Let me tell you how stubborn. Look at this dude now. What are you doing in there? You want me to see it? So uh, today mostly we have a new drop coming this weekend. It's Rumors and Rules. It's the second wave of Rumors and Rules. It's like a hand-drawn font that I did. Um, it was in the vlog. And then there's a snake with a ball and chain around his neck. And then a skull pattern. There's a couple of things. So today I'm going to show you guys like what happens. But generally me and Sager, you know, I get the designs finished. Lately, uh, Sager used to just go ahead and fix them up, like make them printable or whatever. Lately, our boy Scruff, if you're not following Scruff God, you should probably do that. I don't tell you guys to follow people, but Scruff God, he's legit. He's a good dude, especially if you like boobies. Cleaning up the designs because he's hella quick and we're both uh, overwhelmed. Sager usually like cleans them up or like mocks up and we talk colors and then gets to printing. But yeah, like today, like, you know, just to give you an idea, we go through I mean, shit, since like last night, we've been talking about this, but it's just like checking and changing and this is my morning, but. So that's happening Sunday at 10 a.m., our normal drop time. Um, but yeah, that's usually how a drop goes. But yeah, so a lot of people who don't know, I still draw 100% of the drops and all the designs and then they get cleaned up and then we print and then we drop. But uh, something that I'm gonna do now, let me set this camera up first off. The shoe room is still like super crazy. I don't feel like dealing with it right now. I'm just gonna do it a piece at a time, I guess. Now, one o'clock. I don't eat. Now, the day, so I do intermittent fasting if you're new here. Uh, we are bringing in a ton of subscribers today, most likely. Um, so if you're new here, which you are, I do intermittent fasting, so I don't eat till four o'clock. So I'm not gonna, that's three hours. And something that I used to do all the time, every fucking day was make something. I always used to sit down and start and finish something. Like makes me feel good. With tattooing, I couldn't finish things. You know, the better you get at tattooing, the bigger the projects get. They take months, years, sometimes never get finished. It's not as fulfilling as, uh, Look at this fucking hat. Not as fulfilling as I would like it to be. So the way to satiate that desire is to do small paintings. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sit down and do a small, what I call watercolor. I generally paint with gouache. I just call it watercolor. A small gouache painting, um, just start to finish and just show you, I guess, how I do that because that's what I wanna do right now. And I got fucking three hours before I have to eat and I usually start eating around the time that I start editing the vlog. I usually try to get somewhat started around four or five o'clock, but that might change here in the future because I'm just gonna start doing different shit. That's, that's my life and I do what I want. As an artist, I was broke, you know, for a lot, a lot of my life and uh, uh, art supplies are expensive as shit, but one thing that is very, I like to have a lot of things to draw on. I like to have paper everywhere. I like to have objects to paint on. I feel like I used to marry myself to these blank canvases. And if I had like a clean piece of paper, it was anxiety, like cleanliness meant, oh man, I'm gonna fucking, this is pure right now. I'm gonna fuck this up. That took a long time to get over, especially when you're paying for materials. You pay for materials, it changes how you view it and you can't do that. You just gotta use it, that's what it's for. Same as shoes, but you have to just use it. So I like to have shit everywhere. There's literally paper pads 
pads and objects everywhere. And pins. And the longer you have to look for shit while you're being creative, the less creative you're going to be. Same thing with beat making. Like, if you don't know how to get that, you'll slow yourself down. Um, I don't really know what I want to paint. So let's get a couple of random markers. Drawing. Here we go. This dog. Dude. I don't know if I'll catch him. Hey bud, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you scratching your back? Are you scratching your back? Freeze frame. You got grass in your mouth. You got grass in your mouth. You got grass in your mouth. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Come in here and cool off, bro. Jeez. Got in the morning. Yeah. Shoe room. I don't even know when the last. This is where we're at. That's fucking crazy, dog. It got. It's got to get. It's got to get simplified. Okay, I'm back after that. So five by seven. I used to. I usually have like a key that I can just trace. I don't know. Five by seven. Shout out to kick posters. Cause I'm gonna use this as a frame. But that inside piece might, no, this is like, I don't know what size this is, I'm not even guess. You know, Trey Lee here, man. If you don't know how to take care of your girl, nigga's gonna take care of for you. Okay, so let's not get distracted. Oh, perfect, I found an old five by seven. Well, that's pretty close then. are still pretty sketchy. I have to yeah, always clean it up as I go, but that's pretty much it. I'm not going to retrace over it again except to put it on to, tra or to watercolor paper, because if I continue to trace over this, all of the energy that's in the original drawing will be completely gone. And you can even see the, there's more energy in this sketch, a little less energy as I built it. I've learned to retain a lot of my energy in my drawings, but if I keep doing this, it'll just get boring and flat and stupid. So that's my advice, but yeah, that's a drawing. That's pretty much the day, man. Let me get out of here. I gotta edit this vlog, and then uh, I got some, I got meetings and shit tonight, so I gotta go out and have dinner and talk about future endeavors, things like that, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.